yes friends so today's agenda is to start chapter 2 of sale of goods act known as conditions and warranties actually we all can understand one thing that with a view to clinch the bargain with a view to obtain assent of the buyer seller may make various representations to the buyer seller may make various statements so as to appease the buyer so as to convince the buyer that the product which seller is selling is absolutely fine is perhaps the product which may not be available at anywhere else so that's why seller sometimes may make various statements some statements are very essential on which the whole contract is formed whereas some statements are merely exaggeration a flourishing statement or an an expression of an opinion so we need to check if the statement is very very essential stipulation a statement is very very basic on which the whole contract of sale is based then such statement is called conditions but if a statement is a merely collateral statement which is nothing but flourishing statement or admiration or expression of opinion or exaggeration so as to glorify the product then such statements which are collateral statement not essential statement but collateral statement ancillary statement subsidiary statements are called warranties so friends when and that is but obviously with a view to sell the product seller makes hundreds of statements to the buyer but some statements are very very important very very material on which the whole contract of sale is based whereas some statements are merely expression of opinion exaggeration flourishing statement to glorify the product and such collateral statements such ancillary statements such subsidiary statements are called warranties let me remind you one example which i generally give in the classroom that if karina kapoor goes to silpa jewelers for for, for the purpose of purchase of a necklace for her reception and silpa jewelers owner prabhudas bhai puts a proposal that karina ben this necklace is containing 22 carat pure gold statement 1 and statement 2 karina ben this necklace the design of this necklace is rare we made only two necklaces of the same design and then we have broken the tie and so you may not find the same design necklace anywhere else statement 1 the necklace contains 22 carat pure gold statement 2 the design is rare friends you can on your own understand out of these two statements statement 1 which says that the necklace contains 22 carat pure gold this statement is condition if this statement proves wrong later on and if later on if karina kapoor comes to know that the necklace contains only 18 carat gold and it does not contain 22 carat then karina can make the contract void she can return the necklace back to silpa jewelers and can claim the whole price back but the condition but 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 the statement 2 statement 2 in which prabhu das bhai said that the design of the necklace is rare only two necklaces of the same design have been prepared one has been sold and provided to queen elizabeth of united kingdom and this is the another now if this statement proves wrong it's a ancillary statement subsidiary statement it is an exaggeration to to stimulate karina so as to immediately purchase that necklace and as a result if this statement proves wrong karina cannot send return the necklace back to silpa jewelers but yeah she can or she may 
claim the damage compensation, but she cannot return the product. So contract does not become absolutely voidable at the option of the aggrieved party who is buyer over here. She cannot return the necklace back and can claim the whole price back, but she can only claim the damage compensation. But if statement one proves wrong that the necklace contains a 22 karat pure gold and later on it is found that the necklace contains only 18 karat gold. If this statement proves wrong, this statement is an essential statement friends on which the whole contract is formed and if this statement proves wrong karina can return the necklace back to silpa dwellers and can claim the whole price but if the design of the necklace is rare if that statement proves wrong karina cannot return the necklace and can't claim the whole price back but she can only claim the damage once again the statement which is very, 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 very essential on the basis of which the whole contract is based is a condition. But the statement which is merely admiration of a product, merely expression of an opinion on the part of the seller to stimulate, to motivate the buyer to purchase the product, merely an glorification of the product, which is not so essential, which is only collateral, collateral at like which is subsidiary at like a gone, which is ancillary at like a gone. If such statements are made by the seller so as to convince the buyer, then such collateral, subsidiary, ancillary statements are warranties. But essential statements, basic statement on the basis of which the whole contract is formed, such statements are conditions very very important difference if condition is violated later on if buyer purchases the product and later on he comes to know that condition that means the essential statement made by the seller at the time of selling of product is false is wrong then in that case buyer can repudiate buyer can rescind buyer can cancel the whole contract by handing over the product back to seller and can claim the whole price from the seller. But if warranty, that means subsidiary statement, exaggeration, glorification of the product, admiration of the product, the statement showing merely expression of opinion of the seller, which made by the seller at the time of selling the goods and at the time of convincing the buyer so as to purchase the particular product. If that statement proves wrong, and that you know buyer comes to know later on after purchasing buyer comes to know that the design is not rare design is very common then that particular statement is warranty and in this case buyer cannot absolutely cancel the contract but buyer can only claim the damage compensation now let me give you one another example if we go to zaid blue the ready apparel showroom and we per we we have selected one shirt and uh, the the salesperson the seller z blue owner say for example makes a presentation that this shirt is made of 100 percent linen cotton statement one and statement two the the design of the shirt you know is made by manish malhotra and it's a very rare and unique design, which you will not find so often. It's a very rare and unique design cert, designer cert, yeah. So friends, here also you can understand by using your common understanding that statement one, that this cert contains 100% pure linen is a condition. But the second statement that this design of the shirt is rare, you may not find so often such design, such shirts designed in the same way in the city. Then that second statement is collateral statement is a warranty. Another example, if we go to purchase a car at and, and you know, and we have chosen one car, Maruti Artiga and the Atul Auto. The, the particular seller makes a presentation that the, ma, this particular car contains 1500 cubic centimeter capacity pure petrol engine. 
this is the presentation statement one and he made another statement too that this car is giving highest mileage in its segment and you will get 20 kilometers per liter average by running this car now statement one is a condition and statement two is merely an expression of opinion we may not get even 20 kilometers because generally they you know whenever they make any claim with regards to average of a car they always put an artistic and it is very very aptly written that in ideal driving condition and that's why the second statement you know that car will give 20 kilometers per liter average is a collateral statement is merely an exaggeration is merely to glorify the car and so it's a warranty but see if after purchasing the same if we come to know that the car does not contain 1500 cubic centimeter pure petrol but it contains the old 1400 cc petrol engine which maruti used to supply in old ortiga which has been now discontinued then we can obviously go and can you know hand over the whole new car back and can claim the price back but the second statement that the car is giving you this much average that may be an collateral or a subsidiary or an ancillary statement which is nothing but a warranty so i hope that all of you are getting now with this plenty of examples another example say for example if we purchase we go to purchase a purchase mangoes in this season and the seller says that this is pure ratnagiri alfonso mango it like ratnagiri ni hafuz kari che yana jevi tamne kyai nahi mile and a second statement i seller says that my dear buyer i challenge you you will not find mangoes which is so sweet as this lot of mangoes ana jetli mithi keri ke tamne aakha gaam ma kyai nahi mile amari guarantee now the first statement you know this is pure ratnagiri ratnagiri alfonso is a condition where a second statement that this is among the sweetest lot of mango available in the town and you will not find mango more sweeter than this then the that second statement is warranty it's a collateral it's a subsidiary it's an ancillary statement if first statement proves wrong if we go back to home and if we find out that it's not a ratnagiri alfonso but it's a langdo there is one another type or variant of mango langdo then you know we can go back and can give the whole lot of mango back to him and can claim the price back but the second set of statement that you know at home when we started eating we come to know that it's not that sweet rather than that it's having the sour state so jarai mithi nahi turi cha to haji barobar paiki j nahi so in that case you can definitely claim the damage but you cannot give the whole lot of mango back to labhu pacha the seller and cannot claim the price so condition and warranty condition is an essential condition ek moolbhut vakya che ek moolbhut sarat che ke jena upar aakho contract banelo che aakho contract ena upar rachayelo che e jo khotu pade aavna jevu che ke mool payo che a setranji che jena upar apne pata no mahal banayu ave e setranji jo khechi le to badu tuti padva tyare warranty je che e aaju baju na ene teka ai pa che teka tame pacha le liyo to kadach aakhi vastu tuti na pade बायर नेकलेस प्राइस क्लेम बेक कर शर्ट मेड पर्सन प्योर लीनन कोटन है बदले सड़सठ तेत निकले सिक्सटी सेवन कोटन एंड थर्टी थ्री लंगड़ो निकले तो बायर केरी नो आखो लॉट पाचो आप प्राइस क्लेम बेक बायर 
then cancel the contract whereas warranty is merely an expression of opinion a flourishing statement sometimes an exaggeration sometimes a glorification of the product which is very very collateral which is very very in a way subsidiary ancillary for the formation of a contract and if that proves wrong the whole contract does not collapse that means the buyer can never cancel the whole contract where buyer can claim only damage compensation so this is the basic distinction between condition and warranty with these examples i think all of you have properly understood and still if you have any query you can send it to me on my cell phone now and over here you know the most important aspect of this chapter some and you know among us the frequently asked question is this distinction between condition and warranty very first of all i already explained you first two you will be able to understand with is a condition is a stipulation which is main purpose of the contract a warranty is a stipulation which is which is collateral to the main purpose of the फॉर्मड कंडीशन इज एन इसेंशियल स्टिप्युलेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच the contract takes place on the basis of which the contract is formed condition is an essential stipulation on the basis of which the whole contract is formed whereas warranty is a collateral stipulation to the main purpose of the contract warranty is an expression of opinion warranty is a collateral stipulation to the main purpose of contract warranty is a subsidiary or ancillary stipulation to the main purpose of contract warranty is an collateral stipulation to the main purpose of contract and if and later on you know that's why it's a difference as to breach that if there is a breach of condition the aggrieved party can cancel the contract of sale sell whereas in case of breach of warranty the aggrieved party can claim damages only two major distinction i already gave you examples in which also i explained these are the two basic distinction between condition and warranty now third one sometimes you know what happens friend breach of condition may be treated as a breach of warranty because of many reasons sometimes the demand at the buyer's place buyer is also a trader is a retailer and the demand is so high now seller at the time while selling ground nut uh, sorry seller at the time while selling oil seller told the buyer that i am sending 100 tins of ground nut oil and seller sent the tins when buyer received the tin it was revealed that the 100 tins were containing cotton seed oil એટલે seller એ કીધું કે ભાઈ હું તને 100 ડબ્બા સિંગ તેલ ના મોકલું છું buyer ને delivery મળી ત્યારે buyer ને ખબર પડી કે કપાસિયા છે આ તો बायर तो गोईठू बीटेल कस्टमर आने बायर बायर ऑफ अवर ऑइल ट्रेडर यू नो ई के भाई सींगतेल नहीं कपासिया बता के कपासिया हो तो कपासिया सनफ्लावर हो तो सनफ्लावर तल न तल न गमे एक डब्बो दई दियो तो एम करता करता हां जुदी में सोए सो डब्बा कपासिया ने वेचाई जाई तो अइया सु थियो के बायर पोते बायर ने ख्याल छे के सेलर इज कमिटेड अ ब्रीच ऑफ कंडीशन पण बायर सु करसे सेलर ने फोन करसे भाई यू टोल्ड मी दैट यू आर यू यू आर सेंडिंग ग्राउंड नट ऑइल बट देन यू सेंट cotton seed oil so now i would like to claim the damage why damage only because now here even if it is a breach of condition but buyer cannot cancel the contract or buyer is not in a position to cancel the contract because buyer has already parted away with the goods buyer has already disposed the goods and so he is not in a position to cancel the contract so here buyer is helpless and he will have to treat breach of condition as a breach of warranty understand please 
sometimes buyer may voluntarily waive the breach of condition and consider breach of condition as a breach of warranty because he is having the relationship with the seller that even if the seller committed a breach of condition buyer is ready to go ahead with the contract buyer accepts the goods sent by the seller even if the goods are not as per the description originally given by the seller and there is a breach of condition but still buyer accepts the goods but at the same time buyer is willing to claim the damage so here the buyer is voluntarily waiving the breach of condition and he is treating breach of condition breach atle bhang condition no bhang thiyo che pan buyer ke je kai vandho nahi aapi de ne seller e kidu ke 1000 bel soneri tukda ghau ni tane moklu ane jusab bhai ne kishor bhai a vat kari ane jusab bhai ne jare delivery madi ne joyu to soneri tukda ni etle lock hon hata pan e samaye gaam ma demand ne evi hati to jusab bhai phone karyo ke bhai te soneri tukda kidu tu che lock hon डीलिवरी मे खर्चो थो धारे तो क्लेम कर तो आ बदा केस मेरीज ब्रीच ऑफ कंडीशन के सोनेरी टुकड़ा हूँ कही डीलिवरी लोकवन नहीं आपी है तो ब्रीच ऑफ कंडीशन बायर इज रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट द गुड्स सो बायर इज वोलेंटरीली वेविंग ब्रीच ऑफ कंडीशन and he is treating breach of condition as a breach of warranty pan ani same if there is a breach of warranty to ene breach of condition gani sakai nahi etle khali breach of warranty thai hoy to seller etlo ena man ma ram vasse ne e kai harish chandra no dikro nahi ki breach of warranty ne breach of condition kai ne even if there is a breach of warranty the seller will not be able to accept the product back and will not be will not be ready rather to accept the product back and will not be ready to give the price back to the buyer and so a breach of condition may be treated as a breach of warranty this would happen where the aggrieved party is contented contented etla santosh ho contented with the damages only ava case ma aggrieved party ne khali damage thi santosh mani levo padse ane ene santosh che to kai vandho nahi jo miya bibi razi to kya karega kaji seller buyer razi to kya karega judge kai na jau che a breach of warranty however cannot be considered or cannot be treated as a breach of condition so breach of condition can be treated as a breach of warranty buyer wants to do so but breach of warranty can never be considered as a breach of condition so there are three distinction between conditions and warranty do remember this distinctions and this is one of the frequently asked question from sell of goods act in examination that distinguish between conditions and warranty now the next point if we analyze as i i already explained this point to you people that when condition to be treated as a warranty this is under section 13 so sometimes buyer waiver etle jatu karu voluntary etle jat potani jate etle ke for marat jat rite em etle buyer pote potani jate j breach of condition je che ene waive kari diye che etle potano hak contract cancel karvano jato kari diye che tu waive etle jatu karu वोलेंटरी एटेजरी सोनेरी टुकड़ा घऊ नी एक हजार गुणी तो एना थी उतरती कक्षा लोकवन मोकलावेला है मार अत्य जरूर हूँ राखी लु छुट्रेक केन्सल करते हूँ तेने गुड्स पाचो मोकलो नहीं मैंने डेमेज क्लेम करवे तू मैं आपी दे तो अह શું થાય છે there is a breach of condition because seller told to buyer that i am uh, you know at the time when the contract took place seller put a proposal to sell 1000 bales of soneri tukda wheat and buyer has accepted the price as well as the proposal by believing that he is going to receive the delivery of soneri tukda wheat but later on in actual sense when the goods were delivered it was not of the same description but it was of inferior description and it was a, a whole lot of lock one wheat but buyer was in keen need of wheat and that's why he continued and he did not rescind the contract then here we can say that voluntarily buyer has waived his right of cancelling the contract and buyer has voluntarily waived the the right of rescission of a contract because of breach of condition and voluntarily he has opted to treat breach of condition as a breach of warranty 
then in that case you know the condition there is a breach of condition but it will be treated as a breach of warranty so when condition to be treated as a warranty the answer one and answer two is acceptance of goods by buyer now sometimes you know the condition is like that say for example our bhaves oil agency bhaves popat has entered into an agreement with rachit ketras kirit bhai buddev to sell 100 tins of ground nut oil during a coming marriage season you know and so on one very fine day they have determined a day that on 30th june bhaves will deliver the 100 tins of ground nut oil on 30th june bhaves the officer or the employee working at the bhaves oil agency delivered 100 tins to the godown of rachit ketras at sadar bazar and you know at that time the rachit ketras and the 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 artisans and cooks of rachit ketras were in a hurry to prepare some namkeen some dishes for the function for which they have already received an order see say for example ee lokone eid divse amuk farsan banavu jaruri hato and so they have received the delivery of 100 tins and they have started opening all the tins and started making namkins but after opening almost 10 tins and after frying some namkin in it the 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 chief chef comes to know that the oil delivered is not a ground nut oil but it's a it's a lot of cotton seed oil and later on they they come to know this thing but at that time already they have accepted the delivery and now they are not in a position to separate the other goods say for example you assume that most of all tins you know 100 tins they have opened the seal of these 100 tins and later on they come to know out of those 100 ten tins were already become empty they have already pour pour out the material that is oil from the ten tins and all other 90 tins the seal were seals were opened and now they are not in a position to return it back rather they have use the goods and here the remaining 90 tins cannot be written back because the the seals were broken and now they are compelled to accept because they have used the goods and for remaining 90 tins they have opened the seal seal and as a result we can say that here the buyer has accepted the whole lot of goods and now buyer is not in a position to rescind the contract and so buyer will only be able to claim the damage actually there was a breach of condition because the buyer rachit ketra has been assured that you will be delivered 100 tins of ground nut oil but finally they have been delivered 100 tins of cotton seed oil but they have used the goods in such a way and the contract has become inseparable contract cannot be now parted away with because 10 tins were used and 90 tins the seals were broken and that's why they have absolutely accepted the whole lot of goods and now they cannot return the goods back to the seller and as a result there is a breach of condition but rachit ketras will have to satisfy itself only by claiming damage compensation and so here also we can say that because of the acceptance of goods by the buyer in hurry the buyer has to treat breach of condition as a breach of warranty so in these two exceptional cases the buyer sometimes buyer voluntary j wave kari de pote j jatu kari de kai vandho nahi breach of condition bhale hoy par mare goods ni zarur che to hu even if there is a breach of condition i am accepting the goods jo pote jate ji jatu kari de to to koi prashn j nahi ane ghani vakat buyer pase circumstances eva hoy ke ene goods accept kari lidu hoy ane contract inseparable thai jaye badhoj goods accept kari liye ane pachi jo eva case ma buyer ne khyal aave ke there is a breach of 
कंडीशन तो बायर पास ब्रीच ऑफ कंडीशन ब्रीच ऑफ वोरंटी गई सीवाय कोई ऑप्शन मुख्य रसोई खबर पड़ी कई गोटो जाए चेक कर फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ एनी कंडीशन or warranty is excused by law by reason of imp that we will see later on but basically and you can ignore that point also but over here like you can consider these two points mainly that when condition to be treated as a warranty that means when the breach of condition rather is to be treated as a breach of warranty so voluntary waiver and this you can say compulsory waiver tamare be rite em yaad rakho to rakhi sako ke voluntary waiver to buyer j jatu kare ane gani var eu thai ke buyer ne koi other variant no goods je che e deliver thai gyo ane buyer e e particular goods no use pure puro kari nakhyo to pachi have buyer pase koi option reto nathi etle e bani jase compulsory waiver a bhai har sil su suta suta joto lage bhai badhane khas vinanti ke tame loko jare pan beso पूरी करती का डिस्कशन ऑफ कंडीशन एंड वोरंटी शुरू कर सू गुड बाय हेव ए गुड डे एंजॉय बाय एंड स्टेट होम स्टे सेफ आज